Where did I place that? Is hmm, yes, indeed. <laughs> Indubitably. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just waiting for this loading screen to end. Marco Baran. If there's a technological edge to be gained, Marco will already have it on his car. Oh, that little doucher. He's technologically advanced. We have technology. Look at this guy checking his car out. Think you're cool? Oh, look at you with your Evo. Think you're freaking tough? Whoa! Shots fired. That's it, man. See this mean S2K right here, baby? It's coming for you. Go! Just burnt all the rubber off my tires right there. Totally worth it. Screw corners. I have bumper cars. Uh, I don't have bumper cars. I need to catch up to you so I can use you as a bumper car. Go back here, Baran. Or Baran, or Dan Duran. I don't know your freaking name. Ha ha ha. I did that same thing last time. I need to stop driving like an idiot, and I can actually win this. Car, stop spinning out. There we go. Got too much power, man. Can't get it all in traction form. Oh, okay. Well, that was okay, I guess. Oh. Not perfect. Come on, baby. Let's go. Oh, get back here, you bastard. Oh, God. Oh, that was actually pretty good, I think. I felt like that was pretty good. All right, car, what are you doing? Stop sliding all around. Yeah. Oh, we're halfway done with this race. Oh, we're getting, I don't know. These corners, we're doing pretty good on the corners right now for once. For once, I'm actually not doing terrible on the... Oh, God, this corner up here, though. This corner up here, though. Oh man, look at that, like a champ. Kinda kinda slid, don't really want to do that. It takes away from the time, your speed. But uh I'm gaining on them, right? I think. I feel like they're faster than me in the straight, maybe. Bumper cars! Shit. Okay, that was bad. I thought they were gonna turn more and I was gonna just bounce into them, but that obviously didn't work, as you guys probably saw. Oh god, this is a hell of a corner. Jesus. Alright, I'm at 80% almost, so I gotta take this corner right. I gotta figure out how to take this corner properly. Maybe we should just do what they're doing. That's probably gonna work, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and gas it. Go! Oh, man. Go! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Toodaloo! Sucker, I'm taking the inside. Oh, jeez. Shouldn't hit the brake there, should I? Yeah! Yes, 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 yes! yes. Oh yeah! That's what I call a finish right there. That probably sounded bad. No, <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about it, but if you were to like just take that sound clip and put it over other material, probably would sound pretty bad. Take it out of context. Even in context, it didn't even sound good. As soon as I said it, I was like, eh, that's naughty. But, whatever. What can you do? I was in the, I was in the zone, man. Couldn't help it. Fast travel? Oh boy! How revolutionary. Never had a game with fast travel in it before. Not like I played Skyrim or anything. Like El Observatory! Alright. Let's join. do it! I don't think I've ever been- oh yeah, I've been down there a little bit. Alright, punk. Let's go to the race hub, yo. That's where we'll get it on. Did I, uh, yeah I did. Okay. Skirt. Oh, you douche in your Ford truck. Think you're tough, huh? Well, I don't, sir. My little foreign rice burner, as some would call. A ricer or something along those lines. You know, I think that's completely dumb, but whatever. It's just a term. It's kind of funny, I guess. I drive a rice burner, so I can't really say anything. What's up with all these trucks? Am I in the farmlands? Oh god, I got some air there, boy. That was pretty cool. Oh, don't wreck. Oh, oh 103 miles. Oh, jeez, you dick. This maybe. Oh, what the? F what is going on? Jesus, this is getting crazy out here. I don't think I've ever been down here. This doesn't look familiar. I think I have because the road is discovered, but I don't remember ever being down here. So. All right, car. Maybe I should let off the gas and not just stomp on it the whole time. Like I'm some crazy guy in a movie. If you ever notice in movies, like every time any freaking person takes off driving they always squeal their tires and I don't know why like what the hell even when they're not in a rush or anything their tires will still squeal I don't know what they're doing 
why they're mashing on the gas all the time. I guess it's just for effect. Like, sometimes they're not even going fast and the tires are freaking... I guess that's just a sound effect they throw in. I don't really know. I've always wondered why. I'm like, that's just dumb. Come on. Come on. Get real. You're not going to pull out of a freaking grocery store squealing your tires for no reason. At least I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'm considerate and everyone else drives like a bunch of assholes. I don't know. I don't usually see people squealing their tires in the freaking grocery store parking lot, though. Not that I ever spend too much time in a grocery store parking lot, but I spend time in other parking lots sometimes. It happens, you know. Where you park your car is what they're there for. Crazy, I know, right? New invention, huh? I'm opening the eyes of many right now with my wise wisdom of parking your cars in a parking lot because that's what they're there for. I don't know where I'm going. I'm going out to like a freaking Grand Canyon right now. No, I'm pretty sure I'm in Colorado. Oh, well, that was a fail. I'm definitely not the DK, that's for sure. No DK around here. The only DK is Donkey Kong, which you can also find on my channel, shameless plug. If you want to check that out, I'd much appreciate it. One of my favorite series I've ever done, but that's only because that game actually means something to me. Ooh, 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 what do I want to do? Ooh, I'm thinking the LFA, boy. This seems pretty good. Can't complain. I don't think I've got to race my LFA yet, so here is my chance. Am I still deal dealing with this Marco guy? Like, really? Get him out of here. I guess every time you move up in a wristband rank thing, they, uh, they throw a new rival at you or whatever. I don't remember the last guy's name. The one I got the Lambo from, but I guess I'll probably... Oh, what is it? Ooh. Okay, this is looking like a high-class race. Oh, he's got a GTR. Well, can't hate him too much for that. I mean, that's pretty good car selection. I saw a concept. Uh, I know I was on this topic earlier, but I'll come back to it, I guess, because this just popped in my head. I saw a concept of a the, uh, the 2016 GTR. Once again, this was just a concept. I don't think it was officially a Nissan concept. Uh, it looked pretty cool. I don't know how I feel. I kind I like the design they currently have, but uh, once again, a 2016 by then, I'm sure. It'll probably be time for a change, and I'll appreciate whatever they decide to come out with, assuming they're even going to change the design in 2016. But this was just a concept, and uh, you can probably Google it and find it. I saw it on Instagram, so I can't really provide any sources or anything. I don't even remember what the account name of the uh, thing, and, uh, whoever posted it, so... That's kind of useless, and I apologize. Ah, take that, Audi. But, um... Mitchell, what are you doing? Get out of my way, Mitch. Get out of the way! Oh, why are you braking? Why did you brake right there? It's, it's insanity. This LFA handles like a boss. Look at that. Look at that! Ultimate drift, baby. That was sweet. I feel pretty cool about that right now. But, uh, yeah, the concept was pretty cool. It was more sharp. Like, the uh, current GTR's a little... has some rounded edges, and... I don't know, I, I like it. And I also like the old GTR too, the uh, R34, but uh, the new R36, apparently, well the concept for this R36 anyway, had a lot of more sharp edges and it kind of looked like if a G the current GTR, the, uh, the R35, and the LFA decided to meet each other in a bathroom stall one day, or night probably at this time, and uh, exchange some favors and nine months later out pops the uh, 2016 concept for the GTR. That's kind of what it reminded me of, anyway. Definitely had some LFA styling influences, at least in my opinion, it looked like it did, just because of the sharp edges and whatnot that it had, but uh, it still looked pretty cool. If they decided to go with that design for the new GTR, I wouldn't be upset about it. It's not like super amazing, something that I really hope they make, but once again, I wouldn't be mad. It looks pretty good, so can't really complain too much. Better than what I could come up with. If I tried to design a car, it'd probably look like complete crap. Probably look like something out of like a freaking... That was dumb. I don't know, like freaking Tonka game or something. I don't... But it looks bad. Let's just say that. I'm definitely... Plus it would be very non-aerodynamic. It's aerodynamics, man! And uh, pretty much useless, so don't let me design a car anytime soon. Whatever you do. It'd be cool to design your own car. Or maybe go to like a build a build a GTR workshop or something and get a, be able to design your own car. Like I know they have that for like Harley Davidson. Like you can design your own Harley, or at least if you work something out with Harley, you can. I know. Um, like I, I watch a lot of uh, UFC 
and stuff like that. And I know for the Ultimate Fighter, they get to design their own, uh, or no, it wasn't for the Ultimate Fighter. It was the winner of Pettis and Henderson, I think. It was winner of some fight, but, uh, they got to design their own Harley Davidson, so that'd be pretty cool. Just give you a bunch of different components to pick from and you just mix, mix and match and put them all together. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, let's remain in the LFA. I haven't got to drive this thing much, so that'll be fun. But yeah, I don't even know how I got off on that topic, but there you go. Build a build a GTR workshop, kind of like build a bear. Except for instead of adding stuffing, you add motor oil. I don't know. I don't know how this thing would work. Okay, it's not even real. Get off my back. Uh, I wasn't even like that. Wasn't even the original race I was gonna do. I just kind of accident a little sidetrack thing. So, uh, let's continue on to the hangout place. Man, I was pretty proud of myself the way I, I think it was this- was it this corner? It was a corner like that one. I just drifted around it perfectly. This LFA definitely has way better handling than the S2000 has. That is faux show. That, uh, that S2K does not have super fantastic handling. Then again, this is a lot higher of a tier of a vehicle than- oh, thanks a lot, dick than the uh, the Honda S2000, so what can you do? It's to be expected that the... Okay, I just took that out. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. New personal best, or peanut butter, whichever. I don't really know. Oh, I'm slower than Rogue Pyro. What a dick. Oh, discount sign. Had to do it. I know this Lola. You need to shut your mouth. Right meow. Great burnout. Woohoo. Man, I really don't want to continue doing races up on these mountains because there's a lot of turns and I'm just not very good at turns. Where's all the drag races? I don't think there is I mean, a single drag race. Not a one. That's something I always like to do in uh, Forza 3 Motorsport or Forza Motorsport 3, whatever you call it. Forza 3. Forget the motorsport. That part is irrelevant. But uh, that's something I always like to do is go online and do drag races with my friends. That's always fun. Except for... Of course, anyone who's actually played that knows that there's this dirty little plague called the Datsun 510. Pretty sure it was 510. And uh, it just so happens you can, like, tune that thing up to where it runs a quarter of a mile in, like, five seconds or something ridiculous. Like, nothing can beat it. It is not even, like, a Veyron can beat it. Like, that's how ridiculous it is. <clears throat> like, you can tune a Veyron and get pretty close to beating it, but still can't quite get there and it's just ridiculous and so if you tried to play online drag racing in that nine out of ten people are going to use that like a bunch of assholes and just take the fun out of it which is why you got to play with friends and tell them that if they do use that you're gonna like crucify them and punch them in the nutsack multiple times or something like that and uh, of course you have to follow through with that if they do use the datsun just to prove a point which uh, could end up ending your friendship, which kind of sucks, but uh, I guess that's why they make new friends, right? I guess, I don't really know, I've never never had that problem, all my friends always listened whenever we said no Datsuns, but either that or I was the one breaking the rules, <laughs> but uh, that is neither here nor there. And difficulty, yes, I've already read this at least a million times, like come on, new hint every now and then. Online winnings? I've m won money online? When did I play online? Uh, let's go ahead and get my race on then. Ooh, get the Evo. Why not? Come on, it's fair. This is my, my GTR. My beauty. My baby. Here's the Impreza. Um, well... I guess we'll go with my Evo. Can't go wrong with the trusty dusty Lancer, can we? I don't think so. Hey, look at that murdered out Stang. And yes, I only said that because I know I've said that at least a million times throughout this playthrough. So, throwback. Throwback Thursday. <laughs> Hashtag. Those guys are getting cool iPhone backgrounds for their honeymoon or some shit. I don't really know. Oh, look at you. You and your Evo. Think you're better than me? Huh? I got the Evo 10, buddy. What you know about that? You and Mr. What, a charger with a freaking drill guard? Yes, it was. Well, that's different. 
I don't really know why you put that on that. It kind of adds weight, I would imagine. But then again, what do I know? It's draft. Yep. Drafting on your bump draft. Slingshot and gauge and guard. Get out of the way, Sky. Whoa. This is a street race. Oh my goodness. There is going to be traffic. Not much traffic, because we're in, like, Colorado in the middle of nowhere. Really. This song's badass, yo. Of course, there will be enough traffic to fuck me over, though. That's just great.